Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update uh, of my uh, Fluval tank which uh, I've had set up for some time now and have decided to switch it up a bit. Um, as you would have seen in my uh, setting up and review videos I sort of went with a, a pretty bare setup uh, which mostly consisted of a, a bit of driftwood um, and a uh, small uh, Nubius plant and I did add in some uh, Christmas moss and as you can see it has changed quite a bit <laughs> I decided to go a little bit uh, more plant heavy and a little bit greener um, still have the same occupants oh, sorry occupants however uh, I've got a, uh, a bristle nose which is currently enjoying the inside of that uh, uh, wood there Loving that little uh, cave area. I uh, did propagate some of my moss. I've now got some uh, stainless steel sheets uh, down the bottom there. Uh, the moss has grown quite large. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was either a case of uh, cutting it back and throwing away the uh, leftovers or sort of making use of it and uh, propagating some of it. So um, I do love the Christmas moss and it's, it's growing quite well. I uh, still have it tied down to the mesh, but uh, probably in the next few weeks I might cut off that fishing line and let it become a little bit more free. Um, still using the, the sponge to cut down on the flow, uh, which the fighter has really appreciated. And uh, yeah, the main centerpiece there is a, yeah, quite a bit of a uh, large piece of driftwood with... Uh, two yeah large plants attached uh, it was a bit of a bargain from the local fish store so uh, had a bit of an idea of having that as the main feature and uh, yeah I think it's come up quite well uh, it's been running for a little while now uh, like this the the plants seem to be getting enough light and enough nutrients uh, but time will tell with that uh, it's only been about a week now uh, but everything seems to be going well. There's still uh, more than enough food for the bristle nose to eat. Uh, and of course the fighter's really loving it, going in and out of all the plants. Uh, he's even been going un squeezing underneath the uh, log. There's the bristle nose occupant at the back there. If I can get a little bit of a better, better shot. Uh, the bristle nose has grown a little bit. Uh, but not too much, which is great. So it's, uh, yeah, coming along quite nicely. Not having to worry about uh, it growing too big yet and replacing it with another one. Um, it seems to be very happy. Occasionally I am feeding it with its own um, algae tablets or uh, little catfish tablets that I have. Uh, but of course the main feature is uh, a nice short fin fighter here. And yeah, he, he's been growing, going really well. Um, he's really loved the upgrade that I've given him. And uh, <laughs> sorry about the background noise, if you can hear that. We've got a storm just starting to roll in here in Melbourne. Um, but yeah, I think, he, I think uh, the tank's looking really good. Um, really loving how green it is. And it has quite enough uh, swim space up top for the fighter to enjoy. Uh, but at the same time, uh, yeah, he heaps of hidey holes and um, places for him to cruise through and see if he can find any food in there, which there probably isn't. But um, yeah, so I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update of, of maybe a bit of a different look to this tank. Um, as I said in the, the last review I did, I think it maybe was episode... Uh, Four or five was my last one. Um, yeah, really love this tank. A real big fan of it. Um, I, I wouldn't hesitate in getting another one, but I would personally probably jump to the uh, one size up. Um, just to give it uh, a little bit more space for aquascaping. Uh, and then also giving a little bit more choice as far as fish. Uh, fish goes <laughs> You can see a bit of the moss there that I've propagated. It's coming along really well It's a little snail 
snail on there that I think came in on the uh, the driftwood. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear any comments below uh, as to whether you prefer this kind of uh, setup and look or the previous one that I had. Um, and if you've had any experience growing sort of a little bit more uh, heavily on the plant side um, as we have here. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Just thought I'd give you a little a quick update. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, and the rain here is much needed. Uh, as you might have heard, we've had a lot of bushfires down here in Victoria. Uh, it's been really smoky and dangerous for a lot of people and wildlife. And uh, hopefully we can get some really good rain. We've had a little bit of rain the last couple of days. Um, and this sounds like it's a fair amount of rain coming in too. So, um, yeah, very happy with that. And uh, I hope anyone watching this out in the fire-affected areas, um, I wish you well and I hope for a speedy recovery. And, um, yeah, and, and so much appreciated to all the firefighters and volunteers out there that have uh, worked so hard for so long. Uh, we've been really hit hard this year with the fires and last year. Uh, and touch wood, uh, this rain will hang around for a while for everyone. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again in my next video. Bye for now.